Hello everyone, I'm Rookie 27 and uh, here is the totem deck that I'll be using to farm for a totem. So very importantly, a lot of rookies cards as well as sprint efficiency and use speed in order to open up the uh, coping other webs you found in the stages. Extra grenade pouches is for frag grenades to block an entrance for yourself and weapon scavenger you can put it in replace of screwdriver. Uh, if you are still not very familiar with the totem locations. And with that, let's jump into all 7 maps for the hive. So I'm going to give you some tips and tricks and of course how you're going to deal with all these uh, totem spawns. So like I said, weapon scavenger can be in replace with screwdriver. If not, you can pick up all the use speed. Okay, first thing, you're going to open up the shop check for any movement speed stop by yourself. Uh, we'll just let's go. So you're gonna drop down, you're gonna follow this path. You're gonna keep moving straight. There might be people around so just pay attention to it. So you're gonna keep moving. Okay, so on your left here there will be a totem right here. What's that? There'll be a totem right here. So you're gonna keep moving, and you're gonna go straight to the back and open this top again. Look out for sleepers along the way. Open this top again. And there will be a um, totem right here. There you go. And sometimes if the totem is not here, you usually find it right here. Right here. Right? So, move on. So, we're going to set the entrance and we'll move on. So, that will be the first sequence of the totem. For the second one, right here, you see you can find the totem right here, one, and the other one is on the other side here. So, you can find another totem right here. So, if it's hidden, you will keep moving forward to the next step. Now there will be two entrances when you enter here. We're gonna go to the left first. To the left, over this waterfall, there will be a totem right here. One more here. You're gonna pick it up and you're gonna go straight. Then there will be an early exit here. Alright. Okay, now you're gonna drop down. So there will be the second segment. The third segment is sometimes there might be a totem here. Straight instead to the left. Okay, there will be two entrances. first. You wanna head to the front, not to the left. Go straight and left. Careful of the sleeper here. There will be a totem spawn right here. There's no totem spawn, it's directly ahead. You keep moving. There will be a totem spawn here, just ahead of you, right here. Right here. Right here. You'll keep moving. There will be a totem spawn here too, just in front of the inner hive that spawns sometimes. Now you keep moving forward to your left. There will be a totem right here in front, right here sometimes. Keep moving, follow this direction. And the last totem spawn should be right on top here. This should come in there. Here or to the left? So just take note. So this is the last one. And after that, you can either open this up and end the stage ahead of you, or you can go back right to the inner hive. And I'm gonna move on to the next part of the hive map. And I'll see you guys there later on. So same as what I mentioned previously, take up all the use speed. If you are, if you are confident, if you are not, change one the screwdriver with the weapon scavenger. And with that, let's carry on. Get all your frag grenades, your heals, and your stun gun. Then let's go. Okay, so we're gonna open this narrow choke point. We're gonna follow the stream, 
and to your left below there will be a totem here sometimes if not you continue and to your right sometimes there might be a totem right here right. so that's two possible locations we're gonna instead of two, so there will be two entrances left and right we're gonna head to the left first and we're gonna keep moving and we're gonna have left and right we're gonna go right and we're gonna go right again so you're gonna keep moving until you see a stream of river here. So this is the correct path. So behind this stream, there will be a totem spot here. If not, you're gonna keep moving straight. You're gonna keep moving straight. And sometimes there will be a totem right in front of you. So you're gonna go here, up the ramp, climb up. There you go, you see? If there isn't a totem here, you go to the left here. You back off, you go to the left here. And there will be a totem sitting right here. If you do not have it, you're gonna go back to the stream. You're gonna go back to the stream. Follow the this entrance straight ahead of you, and there might be a totem right there. You're gonna open the coffin here. And sometimes there might be a totem spawn here. Right. Then you're gonna drop down after you get this. Yeah, just gonna go straight. Okay. All right. Then we're gonna drop down to the first segment of the stream. If you go up to that up platform and then you take that totem where I just took it, then you can just straight go down here immediately. Okay. You're gonna go to the left first. You're gonna explore up first. So sometimes there will be a totem here, which is the case. This is the easiest totem for the second platform. All right. Right there. Uh, in the case that isn't, you're gonna keep moving, jump over this hole, and go to the web popping right here. Right? There will be a uh, high fear sometimes. There will be a high fear sometimes. Alright, hold on. Let me clear this. Alright. So. If th sometimes the totem can spawn here to just where the inner hive is right ahead of you. If not, it could be right here. So just side by side each other. So you're gonna open the web corbing here and fall down. That will be the second totem. Then you're gonna turn right and follow the stream now. Right, so this will be the third area. As for the third area, you're gonna hit to the right first. Hit to the right, there will be an early exit. So you continue straight. And you're gonna keep proceeding until you see the webbings here. You're gonna open it up. Sometimes there might be a totem here too. Not you. Keep moving forward. You're gonna go straight. Sometimes there might be a totem here too. Like the there's a uh, roundabout corner. There'll be a totem spawn here. Now you go around and you're gonna go back to where you were just now. There you see, the earlier exit. If not, you can drop down. Don't worry, you can always climb back up if you miss it. Go down and this will be where the breaker spawns. And the last totem should be right there. there. It's ahead of you. So you're gonna jump over, ignore this breaker that just spawned, take the totem and get out of here. And with that, I'm gonna go to the next high stage. So I'll see you there then. So as per usual, uh, weapons have in action with screwdriver. If you are still not familiar with the totem ones, if not, yeah, just pick all your speed. And let's go buy all your frags, stun gun, fuel, and we can open it up. Okay, starting, you're gonna drop down. You're gonna go keep going straight to your left. There will be three entrances here. You're gonna hit. Stay to the left. This, the first entrance will be a uh, corbing. You're gonna open up. You're gonna crouch under and you're gonna keep going forward. Jump over. Two platforms. There will be a totem spawn right here. After you take the two jumps. 
Alright, if not, you're gonna keep moving forward. You're gonna keep moving forward, and there will be a totem spawn here. Two on the left. If not, you keep continuing forward. I keep going forward, and you're gonna jump on this platform. So there will be a totem spawn here sometimes, or right here. Two. Right, one. And two. What the hell is that? And take this. Yeah. And you're gonna keep proceeding. If you do not have on either of these two locations, you're gonna keep moving forward. Sometimes there will be a inner high here for you. So there will be an inner high here for you too. So you can always go back after you get all three totems spawn. The next totem spawn it will be right here, just before the exit. Once you enter this portion of the map, you're gonna go straight. And there will be a totem right here. What the hell is that? So that will be your first segment for the totem. Drop down, turn left from where you first ex entered this segment. Then you're gonna go continue heading left. This will be the second segment for the second totem. I'm gonna wait for my bot to enter first. Okay. So drop down, right. Open the webbing. You're gonna keep moving forward And there will be a totem to your right here Where the slipper is If not, if to your right is nothing, continue straight Continue straight here, you'll see this uh, tree This uh, infested tree Behind the infested tree, there might be a totem here There Take it, and by the way, if you get an uh, early totem spawn, you can always head back to your segment. If not, you're gonna keep continuing. Straight, you'll see a red car here. Go straight ahead. There might be an uh, inner hive here along with a totem spawn. So, inner hive is here, and totem spawn will be somewhere here. If not, you're gonna head back, and you will see a ram. A ram down, you're gonna go below, and you're gonna head left instead of going up once you hit downwards. Okay, go left. You enter this river. Behind this infested tree, there might be a totem spawn right there. Alright, if not, you're gonna keep going up. You're gonna keep going up, stay to your right, and there'll be a ladder. Climb up this ladder, yeah. So there'll be two more possible spots. Go straight ahead of you, and there'll be a totem spawn right here. here where the end of the segment is. If not, if there's no totem spawn here, you're gonna go straight. You're gonna turn right instead. Turn right. Go straight here. There will be a totem right here. Alright, we're gonna go back. Nothing a little antiseptic can fix. We're gonna open the webbing and we're gonna go to the third segment. Drop down, and this is going out of the second segment. Keep left, and you hit to the third segment. Where this is the uh, one of the side notes. Climb up, open the webbing. So you're gonna follow this front note. There's nothing here usually. So just keep following to the right and drop down. Turn right, drop down again. So you will have a you have a totem right here ahead of you. This infested tree, just behind this infested tree to your left. There will be a totem spawn here. Okay. If not, you're gonna keep moving forward. You're gonna crouch underneath. And to your. If you keep going straight to your right, there will be a totem spawn. Yeah, sometimes. Right? Now you keep moving forward. You're gonna keep moving forward. You're gonna keep moving forward and to your left there will be a corbing. Open this up, there might be a totem here too. The totem will be sitting right here, nice. Okay. For you. If not, go back. Turn to your right instead of the left. Go up. And this is the last segment where you might find a totem either here, where the nest is, or where the corbing is to your right. It will be right here. That will be the last totem spawn. So this is the end of the third segment.
they keep to your right. Keep to your right, and this is the end of the stage. You're gonna break this open. Yeah. You're gonna drop down, and sometimes there will be an inner high here. There's no inner high here, then you can just. You can actually jump over if you have enough speed. If you have enough momentum. So you don't have to cross this river. Open this for carving and that will be your exit right here. That was a close and this for Sunken's passages. Alright, let's go to the next dive now. Um, full use speed. If you are still not comfortable with the totem location, change screwdriver in exchange for weapon scavenger so you can see through the uh, wall. Alright, gonna open this up. Gonna use it. Hey, we're gonna go and hit as per normal, buy your frags, sun gun, and your pill. You're gonna open it up. Okay, you're gonna keep right. You're gonna keep right. Could use some light here. Sometimes the entrance is off to the right, so you're gonna go to the left side. The main direction is to your right. Just keep moving to your right. Like here it's locked. So you're gonna keep moving straight. And you will usually pass by this center. If you do, there is a total spawn on your sometimes. Straight ahead. Okay, if not, you're gonna keep moving. Okay, that's one. Gonna keep moving. Right. And you're gonna enter this door here. Okay, keep moving. And you're gonna either hit left or right here. Okay, let's ignore him first. Left or right, up the ramp. Okay, there'll be two possible spots here. One is to your left, and one is to the other side here. That's the stolen spot, but I'll just show it to you. Turn up. Then to your left, usually sometimes you see a totem here. Now you keep moving. Follow straight. There might be a totem here along this stretch. Right here. Yeah. Sometimes you see a totem right here along this stretch. So that's one. So come up from this area where you're at. And you're gonna go on the opposite side of this area. Go to the opposite side. This way in front. Go right. Or left, doesn't matter. Open it up. And there might be a totem right here on top. So now you're gonna go up and take it. And you're gonna come up from the other side. So that will be three possible spots that you'll see. So you're gonna continue to the main area in the middle and you're gonna continue straight upwards. We should go this way. Sometimes there might be a totem spawn to your right. Which is the case then. Yeah, okay, you're gonna attach it right here. You're gonna go straight and keep to your left. The first entrance you see to your left, there will be a carving. Open this up. And you're gonna go straight. Until you reach this segment, usually there's only you only find one totem. In this case, I was quite lucky to have two of them. So drop down. Once you drop down, turn straight to your right. There will be a totem right here. If not, you will keep continuing to the left. Continue to the left. There will be a webbing for you to open up. Open it up. Run straight. Go up, and you will be right here. You will see a lot of um, explosion for you to blow up. So sometimes there will be an inner high here for you to take. Okay, so take this, drop down to your left. There will be a totem right here. Yeah. Not continue straight. No. Yeah. Continue straight. Continue straight. Keep moving straight. And you reach this segment here. Keep moving. So sometimes you see a totem here. It will be one of these entrances will be open. So this door here, behind this door, there will be a totem spawn too. If not, you're gonna follow 
one of these entrance, you're gonna stay to the right. You're gonna keep staying to the right. There will be a totem here sometimes, right here. What's that? Like not right there. So it's very important for you to keep staying to the right once you gain this entrance, right? Then you're gonna follow your way through this area. You're gonna keep moving. There you go. There will be opening here. Once you reach this area where there's a long train station here, like a, a lot of cut. There's a lot of cut here. To your left, remember the door behind I told you there is a totem here sometime. Alright, if not you're gonna run here and you're gonna hit to the right at the back. Do you see this blue color symbol? I'm not too sure much but uh, it could spawn a totem right here. If not, you're gonna keep going straight. Straight. And ahead of you, sometimes there will be a uh, inner hive right here. For you to think. So, it is possible for you to end up with only two totems. Just think. Just for you to think. It is possible for you to end up with only two totems. If not, you're gonna keep moving up and you're gonna climb up here. So, your last final totem should be to your right. Once you drop down here, the last segment to your right. There will be a totem just behind this set of notes. Break this set of notes, the totem will be right here. Then once you're done, just break this one and you are more or less done with this thing already. Yeah, a little bit too long with that because you are cycling around this area. Alright, I'll see you in the next Hive uh, location then. If you are still not familiar with the tunnel location, you can replace screwdriver with weapon scavenger. If you are already used to going through a few runs, you can use all your speed and skip weapon scavenger for later. Okay, we're gonna go to the shop, our frag, stun gun and skill. Then we're gonna head out. So you're gonna follow the main path. So once you reach the main path, continue down. Right, there will be a bridge here. Cross this bridge, take out your frag and just toss it. Then go to the main net and okay. So this will be your first early exit. You're gonna drop down after that. Okay, once you drop down, head straight. There will be there will be a totem to the left here. Alright? not go back to where you came from, go to the right side instead of the left. There will be a totem right here. Okay, this is two spot. If you don't see it, continue to the left. And ahead of you here, where the core is, you might see uh, the third possible spot. Okay. Not here. Then you're gonna continue straight. Come back, there will be a totem sitting right here. If you do not see it, continue. Keep moving, and then careful there might be a sleeper on the main path here. One. Alright. Keep moving, and then turn to your right, there will be a cobweb. Inside this cobweb, there might be a totem spawn. Open it, and there you go. That's one. Okay, take it. Then continue on with the main path. To the right. Keep moving. You're gonna drop the totem where the main nest is here. Take your nade out and destroy the set of totem, the set of nodes on top here. Okay, then you're gonna continue straight, straight ahead to the next one, the second set of Now we're just gonna wait. We're just gonna wait for this node to reset on its own. by dropping down here. Um alright. <laughs> Looks like you need a hand. Unintended buck. Alright. Uh, <laughs> what? Alright, we're gonna drop down. Okay, then we're gonna hold straight to the left. Stay close to the left, there will be a total spawn right here. Look there. If there isn't, keep going straight to the mid path. Go to your left here. There will be another totem spawn right here. There isn't, continue on, go upwards, there will be a totem here, right here, you seeing that? and 
there will be a inner hive here sometime. So you can collect all three totems ahead of you and then come back to the inner hive. Last one is right here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna run, jump. Same here, you're just gonna walk and jump. You're gonna open the cover. Sometime there will be a totem here. If there's no totem here, go back and follow along the main path. We're gonna keep moving here, and there will be a totem spawn right on top here. Let me show you. We're gonna go around, open the cobweb, and there will be a totem right here where the thread, where the treader is. Right here. There will be a totem right here. Okay. Now we're gonna continue moving on. You will find a totem right here. Totem will be here or here. There you go. See that? So this will be the second set of the totem segment. This will be the last segment where you see this red color valley. So you're gonna run here and you're gonna cross over to the left. Jump. Cross over. Okay, so you're gonna hit here. And there will be a totem spawn right here sometime. Around here. Right, if not, you're gonna continue. There will be a total spawn here. Around this here. middle of the infested tree, or there's gonna be a totem here down. next to the rock. So, no so three possible forward. locations you need to look at. Right, yeah. then we're gonna I keep moving. Oh. So the yeah, next one will be here. One here. One will be inside the cobbing. Wait, not not at the oh, okay, Hold on up. So there will be a totem here. I might have a totem here, or there might be a totem right here. You yeah. seeing that? Keep moving. Sometimes you see a totem here. One. Or. Right here. This middle, in between this uh, infested tree, right at the end of the stage. So one. Alright, another one, the last one can be right inside the cobbling right here. What's that? And then one more possible spot is just behind this nest node. After you clear all three sets of the smaller nodes, you break the main one and there will be a totem right behind this area. So possible there are four locations over here. And with that, you can enter the inner eye. So this is the cut. Totem location and I will move on to the next one. So for the nursery when you enter it, in the inner hive you have one more additional card for your deck. And that one card you have to use it just for the weapon scavenger. It's important that weapon scavenger is equipped in your deck when you're doing this stage. Alright. So what you can do is uh, earlier on when you replace screwdriver with weapon scavenger, you can pick screwdriver instead for the more uh, faster use speed in order to plant the bomb. Right, with that, Weapon Scavenger is essential to this stage, just to take note. You're gonna open up, you're gonna hit down straight away. So the bomb is gonna be straight ahead of you after you drop. So you're gonna go here, and what you're gonna do, right, um, once you take the bomb, what you're gonna do is, you're gonna open this cobweb, take the bomb, and you're gonna go to each door, there will be five doors for you, three on the other side, two here. So you're gonna stick your your body close to the wall and scan for any totem. See right there? What? So this is one spot, you're gonna open it up. Okay. Okay, you're gonna ignore the breaker and then you're gonna just go straight for the totem. Okay. Ah. Okay. You're, gonna, you're gonna ignore this. And you're gonna do the same for the next wall. Look for totem right here. You're gonna take it. So in this case, there's only. So in this case, we we got pretty lucky with the totem spawn. And you're gonna take this totem, and then you're gonna go to the other side. And there will always be a totem right here in the middle. So we got all three. We're pretty lucky. Okay. Okay. The only exception is when you're heading to the other side. On the right side, you cannot see the totem weapon scavenger. You cannot see the totem with the 
weapon scavenger for the right side. So for this case, right? What you wanna do is if you scan for all four of these doors and you do not see the last photo, it's probably the one on the right here. And then the next thing is just to find the exit. So once you find the exit, you can just exit it. And that's about it for the nursery. Yes, it can get a little bit hectic over here because all you are doing is you're not handling the boss, you're just skipping through every single segment. So be sure to move to the side when the boss spawn. If there is a set of mutation, you can just take out your frag grenade and just chuck it at them before they start to overwhelm your team. And with that, that would be the totem location for the nursery. So, disclaimer first, I'm still practicing on this hive, so I might have any mistakes for some of the totem location. If you do, do please comment down and let me know what are the uh, things that I missed out on. And without further ado, let's uh, jump into 300 below. Gonna take the U speed. All U speed. If you are still not familiar, change screwdriver out with weapon scavenger. Because weapon scavenger can highlight the totem for you. Alright. Gonna buy all the grenades, stun gun, and pills. Get a movement stop so you move a little bit faster. Could use more so you're gonna head straight to the buff And at the start here you can actually see a few totem spots Like one is right here at the below At the bottom floor So you're gonna move to the right jump over And there might be a totem right here One Sometimes If you don't see it, jump back Continue straight So if you're speed you can actually jump over to the train track Instead of opening the cobweb Run, jump There might be a totem right here do not see it, go back, enter this mid path. Jump over this hole and go straight. On your right, there will be a cobweb. Then this cobweb, sometimes there will be a totem right here. So this will be the first one. If you don't see it, you'll continue on. Stay to the right, so it's easier. Keep staying to the right. And keep moving. Over here, there will be a totem right here, if you stay to the right. Okay, stay to the right, there will be a totem right here. If not, you are more or less good to go. There's no other totem spawn right here, or 300 below. Yeah, so with that... Ah, there's one more here, sorry. One more right here. If not, you can hit down straight away. Jump down. So this will be the next floor where you need to search for the totem. Right. Continue on, stay to the right. There will be a totem here. What the hell is that? Keep staying close to the right and you'll go to the outskirts. Remember where we pinged earlier on? There, there's one totem so right tenderized. here where you pinged from the start. Take it. And then you're gonna continue to the right. So over here there is there won't be any totem spawn. This make sure you can ignore it. So keep moving. Okay, you see this door with the big gap, ignore it. You're gonna continue on. So I think after this then there shouldn't be any more totem spawn here. There will be one more here in the cobweb. So this will be where the next totem is. If not, I think that should be about it. You have made one big round. Now you can drop down. Okay, drop down. Okay. So, uh, on, the third, on the third segment where you drop down, this segment here where there's a small nest of nodes, you can actually I blew it up already. There can actually be two totem spawns here. One is always on this main node after you blow up the first set. So I'm gonna break it. And you're gonna jump over. Jump over and there will always be a totem here. So this is a default. You always have it. No matter what. Alright. Once you pick up this one, you wanna check for the rest if you do not have any more totem spawn. Go straight. And hug to your left. Up to your left, you'll see a cobweb here. So, one of these cobweb, there might be a totem spawn here too. I'm just gonna open it up. So, one 
here. What the hell is that? And one here. We're gonna keep moving, stay left. Yeah, all these areas all will not have any more totems already. Alright. So let's continue, track the middle. Okay, I'll to escape the middle, because this is the main path. So you can just drop down. Sometimes there will be an inner high field next to the small set of totems. So if that's the case, if you do not have the third one, it's probably on the next segment below. So there's a total of four segments you need to look out for. Right, and, okay, and with that, we're gonna drop down. Stay left, we're gonna drop down. When, once we see a hole, yeah. We're gonna drop down here. Alright. So there will be a totem here. Totem spawn here. There will be a totem spawn here. Near the end of the tracks. There will be a totem spawn here. And I think that should more or less cover about the entire spot for 300. Oh yeah, one more right here. So any like big lump of infested area you see right, that is one of the probable locations. So this is the one closer to the track, at the end of the track. If not, you are more or less done. You can take this and you can just head straight to the exit already. And with that, we have covered the totem locations for 300 below. Alright, before I fully start out doing a sample run, I just want to tell you that, uh, importantly, I will always run on Recruit, second act, on Heroes of Roman Part 2. Because this is the stage where you get the most card draw out of it. So you can squeeze out as much value for your deck, in order to sweep past everything. So for this stage, there will only be three set location where the hive may spawn. So I'll do a brief, and or at the same time of doing this explanation, I'll try to run through a normal procedure on how the um, how the run should be like when you're farming for totems. So pick the deck, and I always select him because you can locate the inner hive immediately with the glow as well as the uh, starting tender lives. So pick everything in order. You're gonna pick up the Uzi since the faster gun and you're gonna just run straight to the staircase. So instead of buying your items right, you can just buy the slot and then you can just move off. Now the reason being why we do that is because if the hive do not spawn, you can do a immediate reset. Instead of uh, you know buying everything and you end up not getting the spawn. You're gonna jump over here and you're gonna see a hive here. If not, you're gonna move left, jump over this car right here. So the hive can start here, one here, and one is right here. So in this case, we did not get the we did not get the hive spawn. So we're gonna keep redoing it until this stage will spawn a hive. You hear that? Yeah. Okay. So now we finally have a tunnel here. So I'm gonna go right in. I'm gonna show you what uh, typical runs will look like uh, when you do your totem farming. So the easiest I hope I'll get is probably bloodstream. And yeah, we got it. And it's the easiest one. Right. So without further ado, let's uh, jump right into it. This would be how a uh, standard totem farm should be run. So you're gonna get your frag, heal up, your frag. We have a MP5, that will be nice. We're gonna go. Do know that the movement speed is slightly the same, it's just that rarity could make a difference on how fast you are moving. So you're gonna check below, nothing. You're gonna check to the right, nothing. You're gonna keep moving to the left. I think I got the most unluckiest totem pump. So go back. Follow this path. There you go. So we got the most unluckiest uh, spawn ever. Drop and follow. 
all this buffer all the way until you hit a mushroom. So each totem you get, you can just straight away go to the next segment. Hold left. And you're gonna get a totem here? No. I'm gonna go here, open the cobweb. And there's an inner hive here. So there's a totem here. So the last totem, right, it should be right at the next segment. But because of that, since we don't find any more totem, we can go straight to the inner hive. So in this case, you'll only be able to get two here from this stage and the three in the inner layer. Alright, so uh, before you go and grab the bomb, what you can do is you can hug to the right and start scanning for the totems on the wall. So let's kill up quickly. Okay, open up, I'm gonna drop. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stay right, I'm gonna start scanning the door here. Hmm. Nothing, so it's not here. I'm gonna stick here, scan, nothing, so it's not here at all. So you know it's not on this side anymore. So as you are going to the other side, you can just grab the middle and then hit to the left this side. You look at that? Scan through. You don't see it. Go to the next one. So it should be on these two doors. There you go, that's one. So if you don't hear any boss music, just carry off, right? Chuck it. Oh, the next one. So the last one, like I said, you cannot use weapon changer to see it. So, process of elimination, you can tell that this will be the last totem spawn. I'm gonna ignore this. Well, now you're gonna go and just find the exit, that's all. Your whole job now is just to find the exit, and then you're good, and you're spot free. No exit, unfortunate. Burn it, get it ready. Oh no, we got the worst like RNG ever. Can't find it. Yeah, we got the worst RNG ever. There you go. So stay to your left. So you'll be able to dodge the over. Alright. And there you go. You have found a total of 5 total. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this uh, run through picture of how you pump a totem and do comment and like the video.